Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a quick tip about adding things into a GPS or entering data using your keyboard instead of your mouse. Let's check it out. So right now I'm sitting here in this uh, lovely Cessna 172, I'm looking down at the end of the runway going, <laughs> no we're not taking off here. But what I do want to do is I want to take a couple moments to add in some route to my little flight plan here. So what I'm going to do is come down to this FPL button, click on that once. I'm going to make my little FMS control down to my line where I can do my dialing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wiggle this middle knob here. Now you're going to notice if you look really, really carefully that there's a small little icon that actually sits here. Even better than that, if I take my mouse and I double click, you'll notice that it actually will show me this new little mode. It'll actually let me pick my point. The other thing you're going to notice when I double click, this is little tiny light turns on. And if I click once, the light turns on. Click again, another tiny light turns off. So let's go ahead and click to turn this thing on real fast and let's type some things in. Ta-da! And you can see here that I've actually gone ahead and entered the current place that I am. Now I'm gonna backspace, backspace, 33CT is that where we're gonna be starting. I could shut my keyboard mode off. I can press enter. It's gonna say, what runway are we taking here? Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> this is a kind of a runway 36 here, enter. And uh, we can just press enter to accept, check it out. So now I'm gonna come down here to en route. I'm just gonna press the FMS controls again. I have this handy dandy little button. I click on it, I type in uh, my next destination. I can even press the enter key to shut off keyboard mode here. Now I'm gonna press the enter again and you can see, woof, uh, look at that, I've got that. Let's go ahead and add another plan. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna come to my little knob here, give that a quick little twist. Click once, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, let's see, we'll go up to GDM next, because why not, because science. Press enter, enter, I'll go ahead and select that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and you can see where I can select my destination. Again, just like I did before, I'm gonna to go to FMS controls, give that a quick little wiggle, click once, and then I can go ahead and type whatever my destination is. Uh, let's see here, where do we wanna to go today? We'll do a Provincetown. It's a bit of a roundabout route, but why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and press the enter. It's gonna say what runway do you wanna use? The wind's always out of the west. So we're gonna do runway 25, press the enter key, boop. And you can see now that I've entered my entire flight plan at that speed. Now you're probably saying, wow, that is uh, something I wish we had ages ago. And it's actually kind of nice that we have it. Now this gets better than that. Now let's say I go ahead and press my direct two button. You'll notice now in direct two button, I also have in my possession this little handy dandy little piece that'll give me the ability to actually type in things directly, which is a super duper duper handy to us because now we can come in here and make some direct adjustments to it. And again, if I wanted to, I could you know, give this thing a quick little wiggle and I could pick my different piece or I could literally just click and then pick my new direct two point that I'd be traveling to. Now what I want to do is I'm going to press clear because I don't need to be doing this. But you can see how much quicker it is now to go ahead and directly enter those waypoints into these systems as fast as you want. Enjoy.